right guys, so it's a big day for me here and I got one of the Teslas that I'm gonna be shooting here today and it's a three stage. So we've got two jobs in the booth at the same time. We happen to have two Teslas that were pearl white and we're gonna be shooting this one with you guys together and checking out these Tesla colors, seeing how they are and uh, doing a spray out card. And this is gonna be the first one that I've ever shot here so far at this shop. So it's nothing different than any other car. You guys gotta treat it as if it's just a paint job because that's what it is. Even though it's a newer car and we haven't worked on these before, it's uh, the same thing as we normally do. So we're gonna go into this one confident and uh, to get a nice outcome on this one here. So, but it's definitely different seeing these cards change through the years on how they have definitely come a long way with the technology. And I've been doing this a long time, so I've seen the change in the industry, you know, firsthand here with these cars. Now you gotta get in them with a, uh, almost like a credit card to start these things up. But let's go check this one out and uh, see what we're gonna be doing here. All right, guys, so we have the side of a Tesla. We put a new door, a new fender, a new mirror cap, and then we had some repair on the side of this one. So we're gonna be shooting the side of this one, doing a blend on the hood. And then I have a trunk and a bumper for another one here that happened to be the same color. So we're gonna shoot this one together and maximize this booth and uh, try to produce a nice job here on my first Tesla. So I'm looking forward to seeing how these are gonna be with the color match. I was told that PPG is pretty good with it. We'll find out and we'll give that analysis of it ourselves. So let's do it. All right, guys, so we went ahead and put the uh, code in the computer and it's PPSW on this here Pearl. And it's got three chips and we went ahead and checked it. The Prime is the best one. So the Prime looks pretty good. So I'm gonna start off with that and then we'll do our coats of pearl to get our color and see which how many coats we need because you guys know these chips don't tell you how many coats of pearl to put on. So make sure you do a spray out and that way you have it for later. You guys know I always had a lot of spray outs with the Sherwin. So we're starting out from ground zero here. We're gonna build our own uh, color bank ourselves that we know we're accurate with our colors. So let's start out with the uh, prime and uh, see where we get with it. But first we're gonna seal it with the white sealer, and we're gonna be using our uh, sealer primer gun, the Iwata that I bought. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right guys, we got it all sealed up and we went ahead and we sealed our spray out card. Make sure you do your card exactly the way you do the parts. That way you know you can trust this when you go to check it to the car as you're doing your car. So make sure also, one other tip, check your parts that you're painting and make sure that they're either cleared underneath if they're satin and you wanna make sure you go around and look at the old parts. That way you can duplicate the way that that part looked when it goes back on. So I'm gonna head over to the car, make sure that this thing is either satin or cleared, and uh, we'll see what we get when we look at that. So we've got the sealer down, and we'll start moving into our base coat now. So stay tuned.
All right, so you see we put one coat of the base on and I do the base the same way I would do the Sherwin. I put one coat on and I make sure I let that first coat set up. That way we're stacking the color on top of each other and we build a, a good foundation for it because you don't want to put a coat and put another coat with this white while it's still wet because it just kind of bleeds out. You want to let that first coat dry and that way you're stacking your paint on top of it for coverage reasons. So we're going to let this one dry. We'll come in and we'll put another coat of the white on. We're probably going to put three coats of the white, blend it out and then move into our pearl with that. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so all the bases on the car now, we have three coats, three heavy coats of white, and we have full coverage on our spray out card. So now when we use our pearl, that's where you wanna make sure you spray the card exactly like you do the car. Don't spray it in your hand and pound paint on it. Make sure that you spray this exactly the way you're gonna spray the part. That way it matches up the way it needs to. So we're gonna move into our uh, pearl now, and we were using the 3M Performance Gun with the 1-2 head at 15 PSI for that uh, coverage coats on the white. So we got it all based out now in the white and now we'll move on to our pearl and we'll start putting down one coat. We'll, we'll uh, put probably about one to four coats on the spray out card. That way we have it in the ballpark for later if we get a car that's darker with the pearl or it's uh, lighter with the pearl. So let's go ahead and start pearling it out. All right guys, you got the pearl on it now. We got one coat and you guys seen how I uh, put that card on that stand and sprayed it exactly as I'm gonna be doing the parts. You wanna make sure that your distance is the same, your speed. So I put it in there and I can give it a nice coat like that. So we're gonna be putting down now two and three and four coats on the card and then we'll be checking it. And I'll show you that part there. So we got one coat of the pearl on drying and we're moving along nice on it. You guys seen it look really good. The pearl was starting to really uh, come up on there with that uh, base coat as it was drying up. So let's go ahead and get it uh, finished up here and check our card. All right, so we went ahead and we cleared the card. We put the marker down and then we clear over the top of it. That way it stays underneath there for our coats. And you guys can see the one, two, three, and four coats of pearl. It's definitely darker as it goes up in the coat. So I went ahead and put one coat of pearl on the car because you guys know we definitely are gonna have to put one coat because this is a metallic color. So we know that we can go ahead and put one coat then I go ahead and make my spray out card when I don't have one. Even though that chip looked good for the prime, I want to make sure that I have the, the, the amount of coats that I need for the actual spray out card because they do not tell you how many coats they use on their chips. So you want to take your spray out now and actually check it to your chip that you have. So let me hang tight a minute here and I'll show you guys.
So as we put this chip against the wall here, bring your chip back and look at it to the actual spray out card and make sure that your chip matches your spray out card because you also use these in reference to doing your spray outs and doing your cards. You wanna make sure that you can trust the chip. So just don't check your spray out card. Bring your chip back over to your spray out card as well. That way you know how accurate these are later when you're painting cars. So I always do that. I like to see if it matches the chip that I'm looking at. And now we'll bring over that spray out to the car and see how many coats we need to put on. That way we get this thing cranked out and done. So let's do that. All right guys, so we got our spray out and it looks like it's gonna take four coats for it to match up to this bumper here, what we're doing. So this is the way I do it. While we're here, let's see underneath the trunk if it's cleared. And it is cleared under the hood and under the trunk here. So we're gonna have to put clear on this because we wanna make sure we have the factory look on everything when we do it. So once we do the uh, rest of the pearl, we'll clear under this so we have the right look. So let's do it. And on this one here, the vehicle in the booth, we're gonna go with three coats on this one. Three coats on this one here looks better than the four coats on the other one. So we got three on this one and we got four on the other one. All right, so all the pearl is on. We got our uh, four coats on the one car and then we got our three on the other. So we gotta let this dry now. I turn the heat up a little bit to uh, get this thing to flash off and then we'll be going in and clearing it with the LPH 400 and then we'll look at it all finished up. So that's one coat of clear with the LPH 400 and I run that gun one turn in on the fluid and one turn in on the fan and at 25 PSI and that's with the 2021 clear and I'm using the uh, 95 reducer the DT 895 at the moment so we're gonna put one more coat of clear on and then I'm gonna bring you back in and show you the whole thing finished up and look and show you how nice it came out. Cause right now it's really clean with the one coat of clear. So let's, let me put one more on and then I'll bring you back in to check it out. guys so it definitely came out clean and uh, we're gonna go ahead and bake it now so you guys see we got the USA gar mat and it's all set up in here touchscreen you got your little pen and uh, then you're ready to go so we're gonna go ahead now and put it in bake and so for our first Tesla 
I'm pretty uh, happy with the job. It came out clean. The color wasn't bad. We went ahead, we put the uh, spray out card, we checked it and it came out good. So make sure you do a spray out card and let me know what you guys think of how the first job came out. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>